in your health today. Just a few hours of exercise a week, as we know, is good for everything, but it also could help reduce migraine triggers if you get headaches or migraines. That's according to a new study of more than 4,600 chronic migraine patients. It shows those who exercise for at least two and a half hours per week reported less stress, depression, and sleep problems, all which trigger migraines. In fact, Half of patients who did no exercise had at least 25 headaches a month. That's almost one a day. But only a quarter of those who worked out the most had that many migraines. A warning for you night owls out there. A new study from Finland finds people who stay up late are more likely to underperform at work than so-called morning people. The researchers tracked over 6,000 people from childhood through their early 50s, and those who considered themselves to be night owls were twice as likely to rate their job performance as low than their peers. They were also more likely to take a disability pension or be out of work. So are you a morning person? Or? I was just going to say, I've been forced to become a morning person, and I have to say it has helped with healthy habits and lifestyle. I used yeah. to be a night owl. Oh, really? Oh, I don't think I ever was a night owl. And obviously those watching our show right now are morning people, so good job. <laughs> <laughs> and we like that. And Rise early, bed, to, go to bed early. It's a healthier lifestyle. And for those who, who have migraines or get them, I mean, they're debilitating. Debilitating and painful. So if a little bit of exercise can help, why not? Absolutely. Some good advice there. Thank yeah, you. that's what's All happening right. in your health today. And we'll be right back.